Hey babes, it's your girl Nai Nai. Welcome back to another one of my awesome YouTube vlogs. I'm 25 right now in Canada. Let me look at the temperature right now. It is currently two degrees and it's raining outside, so it really wasn't that bad today. I just got home from daycare and I got some food in her tummy. Um, and then we're gonna start our regular bedtime routine. You know, I can't believe Christmas is like right there i'm so excited i got her a good couple of presents and stuff so tonight after i get her to bed because i'm gonna give her a bath i'm gonna braid her hair and then i'm gonna start wrapping her gifts and you know putting together my own little christmas traditions i guess with her um if you are new to my channel welcome 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 and if you have been here i fuck with you for the past couple of months like honestly approaching the end of the year they were totally phenomenal for me so i'm really pumped and amped and so excited for what 2024 has to bring us in my life because the end of this year was totally amazing i was at fashion art toronto and my work was actually on the runway i got to work alongside creative director looks by jazz it was totally amazing i went to that good masterclass. if you guys did not see my content on that please you can look at my last youtube video it was so freaking amazing i got to meet the master icon makeup artist sejon i got to learn from him i met so many other amazing people there so this year has really been awesome so y'all i'm really pumped i'm really amped but enough yapping i'm gonna just make myself a smoothie and then i'm gonna get to getting yara into her bedtime routine so keep watching so before we get into the bedtime routine, can we get into my hair? Like this is the wig that I have on my head. It came free plugged HD lace, y'all. I had to do like nothing to this. And I got this for hundred dollars. Like, where the hell do you find that? I got this wig from OMG Pretty on Instagram. They are like a Chinese vendor. Like y'all, them Chinese vendors be having some good ass wigs. Okay, ready to wear. So in the box, um, I got a lot of goodies, which I completely ignored but I wanted to show you guys this this is the difference between a regular wig cap and an HD wig cap so this is a regular wig cap and I'm gonna show you guys the HD wig cap again like you can see a large difference in like how thin it is and if you want to get a really seamless install you want to get your hair looking a bomb glueless or not you need to start using HD wig caps it's just like since I've been using it I just can't go back you know what I mean? So after I braided my hair and I put this wig cap on, I literally just dragged that wig on my head and applied some makeup on the front. And y'all can see, like, it is literally, like, melting into my skin. I love that. I love blue less wigs. Um, this is a 12 inch, I think. But y'all, this is bar. I really, really wanted to share this with y'all because, like, the girls need it. I gotta find this of mine. I gotta find peace of mind. Please don't let me disgrace. He says it's impossible. The temptations of my past. But I know it's possible. Will my devotion last? He says there's no me without him. Please help me forget about him. Takes all my energy Trapped in my memory Constantly holding me Constantly holding me I need to tell you all All the pain he's caused I need to tell you why. So right after I got Yara to bed, I went into my nighttime routine. I double cleansed, so I used all raw African black soap and Andalo Naturals creamy vitamin C cleanser and toner. It has like 13 different variations of vitamin C, so I love it and I love their syrup. It makes my skin look so bright and just glowy and refreshed. So my lips, I use Milani, Milani, what am I saying? Milani lip scrub. And after I scrub for like about a minute or so, I just top it off with Vaseline and Blistex and that's it. Okay, so people always ask me, especially like on my Instagram, and if you don't follow me on Instagram, like... 
that's weird a question that i always get like almost every single freaking day is why did i move to canada how did i move and people migrate for many other different reasons like i migrated because i wanted to chase my dreams and i just felt like trinidad was kind of putting a lid on me so first things first if you want to move like you need to get an immigration consultant so i had an immigration consultant and he has a website right um so he, he would have helped me so much like i'm gonna put i'm gonna put this website down in the in, in, bruh i'm gonna put this website down in the description box so that you guys can actually see his website and all his info but he was so phenomenal he was integral in my move here he would have updated me on like you know immigration laws what i had to do what i had to apply for how much money i had to have in my bank account to make the move like he is amazing 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 he is super easy accessible because he has whatsapp so any questions that you want to ask him you can i'm also going to put his whatsapp um business link in the description box so you can just click and message him if you're looking to move within the next year if 2024 you really just want to level up you want to level up mentally financially spiritually you want to move your family you want to move to have better job opportunities click his whatsapp link below and send him a quick message and he would definitely help you so apart from having the immigration consultant which was more so like the technicalities of me moving something that really helps me level up my life because you can move you can migrate and still not be in a good place so what really helps me is journaling like you all i journal like crazy and i don't know if you guys know about like scripting and manifestation but i strongly believe in prayer manifestation fasting because those things really 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 worked for me like anytime i want to achieve something anytime i want something i pick up my journal on a pen and i script march 30th i did this journal entry and this journal entry said i am worthy of amazing experiences I am living the most luxurious lifestyle and I pay all my bills with ease and I have money to spoil myself. I feel so happy, comfy, contented, safe, loved in my beautiful life in Toronto. March this year I wrote this. I got my first paid partnership in August. Honestly, from August, like August was a really magical month for me. So I prayed to have a network of people, like-minded people, who can help me, who can educate me, who can... Like take me to take my life to a whole new level. I feel like there are other people out there, someone that may be watching this that is in a position that I once was when I just moved here or when I was looking to make that move to migrate. I'm on a whole new different vibe. Anyone that knows me, any of my clients, my past students, everyone know that I'm a really loving and compassionate person. I'm really open to helping people and I feel like next year I'm ready to really go in and channel those parts of me to really help other people like do the same thing help other people level up in life mentally financially especially financially because people like to say like money's not important but or like money's not everything but mm. in the list of necessities like you know in like oxygen and things money's like right up there with the oxygen because like you need that and i just think having one source of income is kind of risky because like what if you lose your job or like what if it's like covid and like you know everybody had to take the vaccine what if like you decided to not take the vaccine you would have lost your job you need more than one source of income if you're trying to live a very luxurious lifestyle right and i think everybody wants to live this soft life and also the girl if you're trying to level up in life and if you're trying to like recreate yourself and become your best self you need to stop the negative talk you need to stop like talking to yourself negatively think mentally like these limiting beliefs it never really used to come out of my mouth but i would think it and i would think really negative things about myself like you know thinking that i'm not deserving of certain opportunities but i am and you are believe that you are deserving of these amazing things and of these amazing experiences another thing that i don't even play with is like 
pray and I believe that your journal like kind of works hand in hand with your prayer so your scripting your manifestation and your prayer your spiritual life it all works hand in hand I don't even get to start wrapping your gifts because I can't find my tape roll but I will just have to buy one tomorrow and start tomorrow so I'm about to go to bed Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next upload.